Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about few things that we should avoid during the Scrum daily stand-up meeting. The prerequisite is if you are using Scrum Agile methodology for your product development then this video would be helpful for you. Let's go into the video. So if you're using uh, Scrum obviously you'll be having a daily stand-up. So what you should avoid don't spend more than 15 minutes for a stand-up. Please time box it. Always the team should, the entire team should have the consciousness that we should not go beyond 15 minutes. Then it will be a normal meeting with have which has a lot of discussion. So please time box it. Okay. Always have 15 minutes for the daily stand-up meeting. Don't arrive late for the daily stand-up meeting. You might screw up the other's time because people are already started started and they're waiting for you. So never ever arrive late for the startup meeting. If you're arriving late, please inform the team that I'll be late. Please continue or something like that. Okay. And also I would say, please uh, have the same time. Don't change the standup timing often. If you have, if you want to have the daily stand up at nine o'clock, be consistent no matter what. If you want to have 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, please discuss with the team. If any one of the team member is not comfortable, then change in the next, next retro and try out with a different time. But don't change often. It's very important because in your mindset, uh, it will be like set that you have a meeting at 10.30, you need to update. Okay, You need to like provide your status. Then the next point is don't give more details during the standup. Just be clear and crisp and be ready for these three questions. What you have done yesterday to help this sprint goal? What will you be doing today? And is there anything blocking your progress? Do you need any help from the team members or outside the team members? Outside the team. So you be, be clear and crisp, I would say. Don't give more details about these three questions. The fifth point is don't randomly switch between the present and past. For example, don't start with your impediment or blocking. Just be clear with this order. Just start with your what you have done yesterday, what, what is the pending that you will be doing today and if there is any impediment, you can share with the team. So don't switch between these three. Very important, the sixth point is don't sit during the daily stand-up meeting. The intention is it should be short and sweet and crisp. That's why they made it as stand-up meeting. The moment team members sit, it becomes an update meeting. Okay, someone will lead and then someone will be hosting the meeting. So please don't sit during the daily stand-up since it's 15 minutes time boxed. Please don't sit. The seventh one, don't interrupt. If you have any question, you could ask after the stand-up or once the person completes the status. You can raise your hand and ask a quick question. If if it needs a big solution, if it, if it needs a big answer, then postpone after the daily stand-up. But don't never ever interrupt a person when they are updating, okay? And the eighth point is don't prepare for your turn always. Don't be ready, uh, like don't be thinking about what you will be answering for these three questions about your update. Always listen to the other team members. That's the goal of the standup because you should be aware what the other, what is the status of the, of the other task in the board. So please listen. Of course, you have to be ready with your answers, but don't overthink about it. Always listen to the other team member status as well. The ninth point is don't lead the don't try to lead the stand-up meeting. Everyone is responsible. Every team member is responsible, not one person. The scrum master is there to facilitate the stand-up meeting and he's not going to host. It's the entire team takes the responsibility. And even if you're a senior person, don't try to lead the stand-up meeting. Everyone has to open up and then stand uh, and, and state the update. The 10th point is don't go into detailed discussion. Meet afterwards if you want to discuss further. For example, after daily, I have seen some practices like there is something called after daily discussion. So during the update, if you get some like opinions, different opinions, move that opinions or discussion 
after daily so you can whoever is interested in that discussion you can pick them and go and discuss independently or separately okay so don't try because this was this is like a, a trap usually happens in the stand up then the discussion starts and it's like wasting the other team members time so you might be losing your focus so don't go into detailed discussion don't ramble on about personal issues or complaints about how other teams block your progress somebody broke the build and somebody overwritten your code just say that just state what was happening like you can say anonymously like uh, this was a problem is it possible to resolve what was the solution from the team that's all okay then the 12th point is don't address only to the authority figures for example scrum master or manager or a product owner don't always look at them it's not an update to them they are part of the team they want to listen from you what's happening it's they are not like trying to find out whether you're doing your task or not no they want to know where are we at reaching the goal okay don't move the car whenever you feel like why because everyone should be aware what is the state of the task how it's been achieved okay so better to move the card always in the startup like don't move whenever you feel like whenever it's done don't do it immediately you can wait for the next next day stand up and then you say i have done with this task then i'm moving it to done and then i am also working on this okay so don't move the card whenever you feel like always do it during the stand up it gives a feel it gives a view that how the card has been moved and who has done something like that okay and don't try to solve the problems in the daily meeting itself people will try to find out the solution yeah you can state the problem but don't try to find out the solution in the meeting because it's very short like 15 minutes it's not enough don't discuss the task that don't serve the sprint goal you have a sprint goal i believe it, whether it is two week sprint or one week or three week sprint you have a sprint goal don't discuss the task that does not related to the sprint goal the 16th point don't hide issues be open and share with the team because the the early you do this it might it will help the team and, the, and to achieve the sprint goal it might be a problem later if we are trying to hide the issues it might be a problem later so it's good to open up and share what happened what is the problem in detail it's not for micro micromanagement this meeting is not for the micromanagement it's not only for the scrum master scrum master is a facilitator it's not a planning meeting it's not for the technical discussion it's it's a meeting where team members shortly describe or explain or state uh, what they've done and what is their progress about the task the 18th point do not hail the stand up meeting far from your location wherever your team team, loca team located it would it is nice to have the stand up meeting in the same work area especially next to the task board okay so you can see what is happening in the task board and you can see the progress you are really motivated the team is motivated that okay you can they can see it at the bigger picture what's happening for this goal okay so it's good to have the stand up meeting in the work area next to the task board don't hide the learnings or improvements or ideas that you have or that you found during the task like whenever you do some task you got some learnings and improvements though it might not be achieved the sprint sprint but you can share with the team members it will help the team to grow and they will be aware it might be possible i have seen with my experience people take it as an idea and they might they might be spending time on that whenever they have more like buffer time in the next come upcoming sprints okay so please share your learnings and improvements or ideas don't need to wait for scrum master or the product owner or the manager or any team member if it's 10 o'clock just start over is there and finished off 10 15 okay you don't have to wait it's because it's a discipline that we have to maintain okay we don't have to wait for anyone if for example one or two minutes people mention that hey i'll be joining the meeting then it's okay because they might have gone to grab the water bottle or something like that so 
don't wait for scrum master product owner manager or any team member okay so be consistent these are the points i have in my mind and these are the experiences i had i would like to share with all my subscribers and viewers if you have any other points that from your learnings please share in the comments everyone can learn because i'm also learning with you so please share with whichever i'm i missed the whichever points i missed here please post in the comments if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to subscribe to my channel please subscribe thank you and all the best for your career thank you